In this video, I'll explain how to use adjustment layers in Adobe Photoshop CC. Okay, so if I open the layers palette, we see there's a single layer in this document, just the background. Now, I can apply transition effects to this. I can apply things like uh, image adjustments, brightness and contrast, uh, posterize, threshold, shadows and highlights, and so on. I can apply them to this image. But often, it's better to make changes to a document that you can uh, recover from. So, in other words, you want to preserve the original image, and you want to make changes to it without having to worry about losing that original image in the process. Well, we've got something called adjustment layers. It's right here. I'll go ahead and click it, and we can see there are several adjustments to choose from. Let's go ahead and expand our palette. And here's our main layer, and here are our adjustment layers. Now, notice when I hover over, it's going to tell me what each button does. Brightness and contrast, uh, levels, curves, exposure, vibrance, and so on. Now, if I click on any of these, I'll go ahead and choose brightness and contrast. Notice that down in the layers uh, palette, we actually now see a new adjustment layer, and it's called brightness and contrast because that's what we chose. Notice how we've got this little icon here indicating it's that it's a layer thumbnail. Now the layer thumbnail is right here and it's just effectively a layer on top of the original where we can make changes, things like modifying the brightness and as I change the slider I can make it really really bright or really really dark and the contrast reduce the contrast or increase it. So you can make those adjustments quickly and easily in Photoshop with an adjustment layer. And you're not just limited to one adjustment layer. So for instance, I'll go ahead and click on Levels. Now notice when I click that, that we added another adjustment level called Levels. And here I can choose to change the levels. For instance, I could make it darker. I could increase the contrast. I could do all sorts of things with it lighter and you'll see the changes actually occurring on the image. Midtones darker. Let's go back to midtones brighter. Or I could modify the levels here by dragging these sliders. There we go. And we've got plenty of options here for editing the levels on this particular image. Now we've made those changes and let's just add yet a third. Okay, we have curves. Now in curves, what we're doing is saying, this is how we want the color responsiveness to go. It's quite similar actually to levels. It's just a different way of uh, looking at it. So if I click on this line, you can see that I can change the dynamic uh, features of this image, the contrast, the lightness, and, and so on. I've also got uh, sliders here where I can change the levels as well. You've got three color pickers where I can actually choose a color from the image and now we get some really, really uh, quite interesting effects here. I'll add another one. That's the green. So we have the R, G, and B. And there we go. And I'll do this one as well. Okay. So all this comes together to show you how you can modify an image and still retain the original image. I'll go ahead and collapse this because down here we have these three layers. Now notice that they're recursive, which means that as I put one adjustment layer on top of another, it's going to affect everything underneath it. So for instance, if I turn off this uh, second, the levels layer, you're going to see a change in the image. And if I turn off the brightness and contrast adjustment layer, you're going to see a change yet again. Uh, so they're going to affect whatever you modify underneath it. And that's great because that gives you even more immense control over how you modify your images in Adobe Photoshop. And you can turn them on and off at any time to see your adjustments without worrying about changing that original source image. So adjustment layers are very powerful, very useful, and as you can see, quite easy to use.